All right, so today we are traveling on I-15 in Arizona near the Virgin Mountains that has the Virgin River Valley that cuts through it. It is a meandering valley, meaning it basically zigzags like a snake through the mountains. The, mount the Virgin Mountains formed about four about 450 to almost 500 million, million years ago, so about half a billion years ago, long before the dinosaurs were, were around, though they did play in the time uh, in these mountains, because there were some shallow oceans that were nearby. The I-15 was completed in 1972, and it was probably the most expensive stretch of road to cut through because they had to make a lot of road cuts and we're going to talk about some of the geology that cuts through the Virgin Mountains. As we head west on I-15 our angle of sight gives an illusion that we are looking at strata or layers of rock that have laid flat or level um, which fits with the law of original horizontality basically that sedimentary layers will be generally deposited in horizontal layers and they were deposited originally in a horizontal layer however due to uplifting the rocks that you're seeing ahead of you on to the left and the right the red rocks they are actually rising above or being uplifted by an underlying plate these rocks have been rising for millions of years almost a half a billion years and they've been folding and crunching up against one another and in some cases melting and changing throughout their existence. Another geology law is the law of superposition. That law basically says that the top layers of strata or rock are going to be younger the youngest the ones at the bottom are they going to be the oldest basically if you think about your clothes in your room if you drop them on the floor and you don't wash them the oldest ones are going to be at the bottom the oldest dirty clothes the ones at the top are going to be the the ones that are going to be the least dirty you can notice by looking at the different peaks uh that the topmost layers of the strata or the layers of rock are going to be the youngest and the base of the mountains are going to be the oldest. This right here is an example of a road cut where highway builders have blasted or cut into the rock to create a passageway for traffic uh, for the road to flow through. Here you can see the uplift of the various strata, the various layers, as they tilt upwards because another plate is going underneath them. If you notice the other mountains further in the distance, you can see this meandering or this zigzagging where water and rock and mud have been flowing down the mountains over time, breaking off into smaller and smaller channels. If you want to really see a great connection, Turn your arm uh, so that your palm is face up and you can see this meandering of your veins. You have these main blue veins and they start splitting off the, the closer they get to your 
fingers, your hands and your fingers. Essentially, nature mimics you and you mimic nature. To the right, you can see an example of the law of cross-cutting relations, which basically says that the lower rock that has eroded away is older than the upper rock, which has filled in where that erosion has happened. Part A is older than part B because part B has filled in where A has partially eroded. To the right of the fence is the Virgin River that has slowly carved out this very, very deep gorge that you can see meanders along with I-15. Since the Virgin Mountains have been around for, as I said before, about a half a billion years, seeing the dinosaurs come into life, seeing them exit out of life, and seeing humans come in and other, other animals to replace the different niches that the dinosaurs had filled. You had huge amounts of erosion of these mountains as they formed and as they eroded into the various seas around them but also now the what are called the alluvial plains where the sediment is deposited around these mountains creating new sedimentary rock and rebuilding the land as the mountains have eroded. 